Hi kids, it's Susan, Fitness from the Pro. I've already made a couple of videos for you if you're going on vacation. One was with using the loop band and one was using a band with handles that I always call the bandle. You can just throw those two pieces of equipment in your suitcase, no weight at all, easy, traveling, portable, very good and functional to exercise while you're on the road or on vacation or away from home. I've got one more little exercise gadget, if you will, that you can take with you or that you can use when you get someplace. I'm talking about the glides. Now you're going to say, Susan, I don't have glides, but that's okay. Where you go probably has some paper plates. Ta-da! Yes. Well, these are small ones. You can always use the bigger ones. I prefer to use the bigger ones, eight and a half, nine inch diameter paper plates. You can put these underneath your feet like we're gonna do with our glides or under your hands, or you can take a couple of hand towels, put the hand towels underneath your feet and that should make it nice and slippery so that you can move and do the exercises with me if you wanted to. So I'm going to just put these off to the side. I'm going to use the glides. Now if you want glides, you can always get them at a local store, heart, uh, sporting goods store, or you can order them online. They're not very expensive, but if you don't want to even buy them, just use the paper plates. They'll work just as well. So come on and join me. We're going to start standing with our glides. So I'm going to put each foot on the glide. Now you can also have a chair to hold onto if you need stabilization. This exercise, we're going to be doing uh, a core movement. I mean, it's going to be using the core for stabilization. We're also going to use our legs, our butt cheek, our butt, our hamstrings and core. So I'm going to stand up nice and tall. I'm going to start with that left leg. I'm just going to slide that left leg out to the side and keeping it straight, pulling it back in. So just the ball of my foot is on that glide. What I'm doing with my right leg is I'm sitting back into that right heel, bending that right knee, keeping the knee just above the ankle and pushing through that right heel. You're gonna feel this in your inner thighs, your adductors. If you're sitting back into that right heel, you'll feel that butt cheek light up. Those glutes are gonna light right up. So you can do about 12 on one side and then we'll do 12 on the other side. This time we're sitting back into that left heel. Push those hips back, keep that knee above the ankle and behind the toe. You've got the break of that left leg by that heel being on the hard floor. That left leg's not gonna move anywhere. Right leg is straight. Use those adductors, pulling that right leg in. Another option you can do. So that was great for inner thighs, butt cheeks. Now we're gonna be moving on to a reverse lunge. So I want you to keep that right leg nice and stationary. We're going to slide that left leg back. Now, again, your, the ball of your foot's on that left glide. You're just going to slide that left leg back, bending both knees for your lunge and pull it back in. Again, you need that core activation for your stabilization. I want you to bend both of those knees pushing through that right heel. Keep that right knee behind your toe, just above the ankle. That right heel is not going anywhere and you're pulling it back in. Great leg work. And of course, you're gonna do it on the other side. I'd like you to do 12, if you can. You're sliding that right leg back your chest is lifted, that left knee is behind your toes, pull the belly button to the spine, make sure you're standing up nice and tall. Bending both knees, and there you go. You've got two standing leg exercises that you can do while you're on vacation with paper plates, hand towels, 
or you can have the glides. Now we're gonna move down to the floor with a mat. And I think what I'll do is, I'm just gonna get my paper plates here so you can see how that would work. Like I said, I'm using small ones here, but you, I prefer you use a bigger one. All right, so I have my feet, the balls of my feet on the paper plate. My butt's close to the edge of my mat, and I'm hanging, laying down here. My abdominals are engaged, hands are by my side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into a bridge, pulling that belly button in, lifting those hips, keeping everything nice and tight here and squeezing the butt cheek. Remember, you're resting on your shoulders, not on your head and neck. Hands are by your side. Lift that right heel, and you're just gonna extend that leg and pull it back in. You can really feel those hamstrings lighting up. So again, you can do the same thing. Left heel is lifted, and you're just Sliding that foot forward. Remember now my, um, my toe is on the paper plates here. If you had a bigger plate, you could see my toes. And then you're gonna lower. So you can do 12 on the right leg, 12 on the left leg. Option, <clears throat> another option here, you can have those heels on the paper plates. Again, hands down by your side. Lift the hips, resting on your shoulders. Now go ahead and slide that heel forward. Another option for you. Notice I'm getting more range of motion with the heel on, my, on the paper plate or the glide. Keep those hips lifted, resting on those shoulders, and then you wanna keep those hips level, keeping the belly button pulled into the spine. Now I have my hands here. You can also make it a little more challenging by having those arms just over your chest. Keep the hips square, extend those legs, and there's another exercise that you can do with the glides. Bridges, great for the low back. Now we're going to come onto our stomachs now. I'm gonna go back to my glides. I just wanted to show you how easy the paper plates are. Oh my, and look how dirty the floor is. Okay. So we're gonna come on to our, for a plank, into a plank. Now, I'm gonna put my toes on the glide. Option, you can stay on your hands or you can come down onto your elbows. I'm gonna come down onto my elbows. Either option that you do, I want those wrists to be directly underneath your shoulders or the elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Now, <clears throat> option. Okay, you can keep, some people can't do a full plank without uh, being on their knees. So I'm gonna show you an easier option. Elbows underneath my shoulder. I'm gonna keep my right knee down and I'm gonna lift my left leg and slide the left leg out and in. Okay, so this is option one. Notice that my right knee stays on the floor. Okay, option two. I'm gonna lift both knees and then bring the leg out to the side. Now I want you to keep reaching through the crown of the head, pull that belly button into the spine, and you can alternate those legs. Again, 12 repetitions on the right leg, 12 repetitions on the left leg. Maybe take a break, and then we can do both legs, and that would be your third most challenging option. Elbows underneath, Lift those knees, open those legs, and bring it back in. Again, we want to do 12. We want to keep those abdominals engaged. And you can feel the legs working, the abs working, the butt working, and good upper body work with just holding that plank. Now, uh, moving on. <coughs> I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Now this is gonna be kind of a pretty good, pretty challenging option. But you do what you want. 
I'm going to once again put my toes on the glides. Now I'm doing the high plank here. I want you to reach through the crown of the head, pull everything in. The legs are not going to do anything, but the arms are going to be doing the work. So you're going to walk forward, then walk backwards. It's kind of fun. Walk forward and walk backwards. You got to keep those abs engaged. Watch that the hips aren't up in the air. Watch that you're not sinking those abdominals. Okay, moving on. We're going to once again put those toes on the glides. <clears throat> I want you to stay up on those, into that high plank, and you're going to pull that right knee into your chest and back. This is your easier option. Keeping that butt down, using that core. This is all core here. You can do it slow and controlled, or you can make it faster. For a quicker mountain climber, the choice is yours. Or bring that knee out to the elbow, opposite elbow, or underneath. For those obliques, another option. One push up, knees in. One push up, knees in. This is your easier option. One push up, you can also do the pike keeping those legs straight. One push up and pike it up. Another option you could do is just eliminate the push up. Just pull those knees in to the chest and extend. You don't need to do the push up. The push up is just an additional extra little full body kind of workout for you. Okay, so now those arms are probably tired, but we're not done yet. We're going to, I'm just going to move this down a little bit here. Have those hands on the glides. Okay. Now I'm going to be on my knees and it is not this. Okay. So many times I see people do this when you're just on all fours. When you're on your knees and you're on that little bit of a, an incline or a decline, you activate more of that core muscle for you. Okay, so here we go. Shoulders are away from the ears. We're just going to take that right arm and give me little bitty circles. Now you determine how big your circle is going to be. Keep that belly button engaged. So say we do 10 in one direction, then we're going to do 10 in the other direction. I call this wax on, wax off. Does that sound familiar from the Karate Kid? But Mr. Miyagi, okay? So then you're going to do the same thing with the other arm. Now by keeping my uh, stationary arm close to my body, I'm activating more triceps here. And then of course you're gonna circle the other way, keeping those abs in. Good. Okay, so that's your wax on, wax off option. This next exercise is pretty challenging. And I kind of like it to the rollouts you do on the ball or if you have those wheels. The key to this is make sure you're squeezing the butt. Be mindful how far you extend those arms when you pull it back in. That core has to be nice and tight and I want you to squeeze the butt to protect that whole low back. A lot of people don't like to do the rollouts because they say it hurts their back. But if you squeeze the butt, 
it shouldn't hurt your back. Alrighty, so here we go. We're back on our decline position. Now, I'm gonna extend that right arm straight out. And I'm really pulling that belly button in when I pull that arm in. Um, so, how you can make this less challenging is maybe you're here and pulling it in, okay? You can feel those abdominals engaged and I want you to squeeze the butt to protect that low back. Now, I want you to see where this uh, arm is and you'll definitely feel some tricep activity here. So you're gonna inhale, lengthen, see how my elbow's bent and close to the body, exhale, pull it back in. Inhale and lengthen, exhale. That elbow stays nice and tucked. I'm working my upper body, I'm working my abdominals, and I'm working that tricep. Remember your option here, you don't go out as far, okay? And this is a great full body workout, a full body exercise. I hope you enjoyed using the glides today. Remember the option of using your hand towels uh, and paper plates, okay? So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Let me know your comments and suggestions if there's anything else. But this is another exercise or video that you could do on your own on vacation without any equipment and you're still getting a really good workout in. Thank you for joining me today. Please feel free to subscribe to LWCA Fitness on the YouTube channel. I look forward to your comments and I'd like if you share the video with your friends and family and I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.